Hey guys, it's Quirk Serial here, back with another Ember Nice video. In this video, I'll be continuing my 0 to 100% series, and this is episode 10, so let's make it a good one. And slot 2 was the 0 to 100% save slot. So, my plan for this episode is to continue to do some of the hammer trials. And by doing these trials, which the ones I have left is Tenderizing Challenge, which is stunned 6 enemies in 1 charge attack with the Rift Hammer, and also the Umbral Rift Hammer Challenge, stunned 2,000 enemies with the Rift Hammer. So those are the two challenges or trials I have left with the Hammer. I will be using a slightly different mod setup to try to achieve that. So on the top row, instead of using Defensive Stance that I used in the last episode, which was two weeks ago, I'm going to be using Knockout instead, which is when you use a skill, your next attack conjures a blast that stuns. So my thought process behind this is that if I use a skill, my next attack will stun. And if my next attack is guaranteed to stun, I can get some more stuns for the trial stun, right? That makes some logical sense. And I also have 17 Ash, which isn't quite enough to max out another weapon. So I'm going to hold on to the Ash. And I was also thinking about getting the last pillar but in order to get the last pillar this one that I, I can't select but this one is still locked i would have to unlock um let me just find the black memory there we go i would have to do a loop and beat practice again so i could do that oh also this is an interesting predicament that i'm now in because we are really lucky. With Stun Powder in the shop, I can stun a lot of enemies with Stun Powder and get this challenge done really fast. So I think we're going to scrap the idea of the last pillar and just take the Stun Powder. Because so I have like just enough Ember to buy it. And now on my third charge attack, the Volcanic Rift, each tick will burn and thus stun enemies. So with that being said, instead of going... Um, Blitz, which we're going to have to take up one on Onslaught, and then we're going to go Max Horde to try to stun as many enemies as possible. We just got a really good start for these challenges for Hammer, so we're going to just jump into that, yeah. So four Haste, four Onslaught, four Horde, and one Douse. And then the Ember Tree setup was Earned Vitality, Earned Power, um, Pocket Change, and confident. I'm just trying to remember because I didn't go over it. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of what the inventory was. I just know the first eight or four. Yeah, four. Here. Anyways, we just need to stun enemies. That's all we need to do. Just stun some enemies. Although, there is a slight issue with my plan here, and that is the fact that if you kill an enemy, it doesn't exactly get stunned. So, yeah, that, that's kind of bad. Also, Ember Fire. We'll take Ember Fire. And a Relic Orb. Legendary Relic Orb. Huge. We want the Bob's containment field? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. We will take the Reduce both. And also the Opal, just cause. And we'll go crit.
I just realized this area is going to be really slow. Well, I didn't just realize it. But I realized that throwing on Horde is going to make these areas really slow. And it's not super efficient to get the stuns in this area. Because I generally just kill the enemies before they get fully stunned. So it's not the best situation right now. Oh yeah, Ember. We don't need the gold that badly. We need the Ember. <laughs> I gotta remember that now. Since we're back on to the 0 to 100% series grind again. Hmm. Maybe I can stun a bunch of enemies here. I keep yeah, I didn't. I did not stun six together, but got some stuns, which still makes our way towards the Umbral Challenge. I think it's called the Umbral Challenge, at least. Alright, mini boss. We did not have much damage, I'm gonna be honest. We did not have the damage. Double skill damage? Nah, we're not even picking that up. I'm gonna roll once. I might roll again. Earl again. Bufari Imbument. That's a good one. I'll take that for now. Yeah, this will give us more, um, more stun capability. Since our third charge attack, after we proc a skill that is, will be a guaranteed stun pretty much to apply his burn twice. Which is very, very nice. a little difficult to uh, get all of the stuns I need. Although nice charge is good. That'll stun. Pretty sure the Umbral Challenge for Hammer, which is if they uh, stun like 2,000 enemies or something. Um, I'm pretty sure it works with any stun. It doesn't have to be a weapon stunning enemies. So by doing this and stunning enemies, that will also do it. Honestly, sure, we'll take another easy buff. We're just never gonna die. Alright, onto the boss fight. Let's, uh, let's do it. So, we can stun this boss, but it's only. It's only at certain intervals. So. It's not going to be easy to get the stun off. Yeah. Like, they disappeared already. Ok, 
do, we got the two cycle. Um I wasn't sure if we had the damage, like honestly. Take more crit chance, I guess. Uh, wasn't six enemies? No, that sucks. Okay. I need six enemies together before they all burn. Damn it, that wasn't six, that was five. You gotta be kidding. They weren't close enough. Uh, okay, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll do it at some point. Red Dwarf, a new relic that we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that. I'm fine with that. I almost went to the gold room. Alright, on to mini boss. This might take a, a little while. This guy's got quite a lot of health. Okay, we got our first combustion stone, which means we actually got some damage now. But the downside to that is we might kill enemies a little too fast for the stuns. That could be a slight issue.
I need to have more crits over the damage because I feel like just in general more crit is probably going to do us more benefits or more good than just more damage since we have Rishiv Cloak. So we want to heal more often from all the blunders of just getting hit randomly while trying to charge my attacks. I think that's just better. Okay, our first Ash Room, which is good and bad. Good because Ash, and we need Ash. Bad because it takes a while to kill sometimes. But I forgot we got the Combustion Stone that just does damage through shields, so it doesn't even matter. I had a lot of pick up the Ash. Nice, two more Ash. Another Relic Orb. Nice, nice. We're up to two Relic Orbs on the run. Makes sense though, since we do have um, Horde on, so we're killing way more enemies than we usually would. Taking Merit Speed this time. Wow, our first apples in the run, too. That's crazy. Oh, it's taking so long to find an apple. Anyways, AT boss fight. Here we go. After the boss fight, not bad, not bad at all. This more crit put us at a perfect thirty percent. Okay, so I know we haven't done Bane of the Deal yet, and realistically, if I take it, I should be able to cleanse it, because all this build needs is a single Combustion Stone, and then it is 
pretty easy. But on the other side, I want to get done the hammer challenges slash trials. Therefore, I need the stun powder. And if the stun powder rerolls into something, then I'm screwed. I think I bypass it for now. I only have two more curses left. The compendium entries. Um, so, I should be able to get those in the next few up uh, <laughs> next few episodes. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta get a decent run going. Pick a bang of the deal with one of them. I can't remember what the other one is, but we'll find it at some point. Also, Twisted Firestarter, another great relic. Let's pop out the wisp, see who he is. It's a lightning one, so I think it's Larry. I think Larry is the lightning one, because that makes sense. Uh, I missed an apple, but oh well. Only one apple. Hopefully it's not life or death. wrong with crit honestly another ash room perfect finally we're getting some ash and i know we got some an ash room in a2 but still like, we've only gained two ash this entire run so far it's crazy also these boards haven't been very board like we haven't had a lot of enemies in one room. Also, my shield, no. Supreme, no. Uh, we'll reroll once. We hit Brill Scepter. I would be happy, generally speaking, but not really. Oh, we could also take Rupture. Yeah, let's take Rupture. It's another stun. It's another stun skill, so what it does is you heave the ground surrounding you to stun and damage enemies. In this room, I'll test it for you. Like, this is what it does. With a perfect, it will stun more enemies, or a bigger AoE, and then does more damage. boss a3 mini boss to be exact it's gonna be a little bit tough because we don't have a ton of damage but then again i think one combustion zone is plenty yeah like just look at that dps it's actually pretty fine it's not over the top like insane damage but it's it's good it doesn't need to be more all right this time i'm not gonna skip all the apples As a free 9 max health there.
take more moves food. It was more moves food or health because the damage, I really don't need the damage. As pitiful as my damage is, I just don't need it. What I need is a horde of enemies, you know, six enemies at once, like, that would be amazing. But there just isn't enough enemies spawning. Or spawning fast enough, I guess I should say. Another relic orb, nice. Is there enough enemies in this room? Not really. Damn, the six enemies stunned simultaneously with their weapon is actually pretty hard. Because finding six enemies that are remotely close together is so difficult. I feel like I've stunned a lot of enemies, just not six at once, which is unfortunate. We need a big pearl scepter. I'm gonna roll. I kinda need another combustion stone. Ooh, elderberry. Okay, that's nice. That is some good crit. Um, let's go with more crit, I guess. Can't really go wrong with crit.
Seriously though, can I get some more enemies in these rooms so I can stun them all at the same time? I mean, I keep getting only five enemies at once. Look, look, that's only five enemies. And one of them's already stunned. Hey, what? It's like there's a max cap of enemies in a room, which is five or something. Or like, you, you can't spawn in enemies after five enemies are in a room or something. Just so dumb. So once again, only five enemies in this room. Until I clear the wave. Or clear like a couple of enemies, then more spawn. Oh, there's six. One. No. They aren't all together. Pain. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go over here, hit this. Get them really close together, like on top of me. Come on, get closer to me. They're not all close enough. Freaking hell, man. Just get closer, please. Okay, right here? No! Okay, I just gotta kill them for me and die. Man, that's so infuriating. Like, five enemies in this room. Come on. Okay, there's some enemies in this room now. <laughs> okay, are they all going to come towards me? My next attack is going to stun, so I need to be very careful. But how many enemies are around me. I don't know if that was it. I think I may have only stunned five. Is there only five enemies in here? There's only five. Okay, it's not worth it even. Route fight. Damn, that really sucked. I'm gonna take more max health, so I can tank more. We cannot upgrade anything super important Oof. for 15 gold off. How unfortunate. Guess we upgrade the region both. Just cause then. Okay. Wait a second. We can we can do this. There's enough enemies in this room. We just gotta group them all up. Okay. Group them all up. out of it. Okay, so what do I need? I need to do this. And all the one on the ground, right? Boom. Pretty sure that was six enemies. I hope. We'll know by the end of the run, since I already have the achievement on a different save, it won't give me the same achievement, so I don't know when I actually do it. Health. We have a lot of crit, so I think max health is just the the most beneficial stat at this point.
Ooh, another relic orb. Nice. I think it was the fourth one. Fourth one this run. Pretty crazy. Ash. Nice. So, so far we've gained eight Ash this run. Which I think is what we're going to be left with. It's only eight Ash. Which isn't terrible. It could definitely be better. But eight Ash per run, that's not bad. That's the entire first tier, or most of the third tier of mods for a weapon. It's not bad, I guess. For boss fights, here we go. This fight is going to be kind of annoying since we don't have the crazy damage to just like brute force through everything. But we do have a lot of stun, so we can stun a lot. We also have really crazy healing, so. Yeah, the healing's just ridiculous. I think it's just more health at this point. Our damage is so low, but... Whatever, honestly. Alright. So I'm going to still try to get that six enemies stunned in one weapon attack. Because I'm not sure if I did it in A4 or not. So I'm going to still try to do it until I like know for sure that I did it. So this room is not a room that I can do it in, I don't think. So it's a smaller room. And it is waves. But I don't think enough enemies spawn for the waves to be able to do it. We got lucky that the health gems got the bonus gems next, because health is super beneficial. Okay, is it only five enemies though? Damn, I think there's only five enemies that went into this room. Damn. Why is it always one less enemies than I need? Also, it's shades, and shades deal so much damage, so I don't really want to screw around with shades.
Wow, those two rooms took a while. Holy. I'm not gonna do all of the rooms not on this run. I wanna keep the run fairly short. Although, you know, I did throw on hordes, so it's gonna be long anyways. Ooh, Relic Selector. Really terrible room. Yeah, look, only five enemies. Only five enemies, of course. Like, what? Why do you only five enemies spawn at a time? I don't understand. Another opal? Bro. I don't need that much healing, I don't think. And there's nothing else I want though, so might as well. Five health on a crit. Holy. Let's go to uh, Arlen, see what he's got for us. You know, we cannot afford anything. Actually, we're not as broke as I thought we were. We're just gonna reroll. It's, it's fun. I wasn't gonna be able to buy anything anyways. <laughs> okay, maybe I can get enough enemies in this room. Oh, still only four. Oh, maybe no. It's three, four, only four. Bro. Is there actually like an enemy cap per room? I swear. It's only four enemies. It was five, because I already killed one, but what the hell? Oh, wait, maybe. There's six. There's six. There's six. There's six. I just gotta... I just gotta do something like this. Okay, my next attack will stun. And get them all really, really, really close together. All of you need to be really close together. I missed. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna kill them all. I don't deserve to live no more. They were not cooperating with me. We have to do the crystallized challenge later. We have to do it later. We already did it. Great. But I'm fed up with all these enemies just not getting close enough together for me to be able to stun them. And just not getting enough opportunities. Ooh, champion room. All right, let's end, let's end the run. Let's end it. Let's go fight Praxis.
Easy dub. Easy two cycle on phase one. Alright, phase two, dodge phase. You already know what I'm gonna do. In fact, I can just sit still and tank everything. Because I do not need the damage, or, or sorry, need the health. Because I'm just gonna be able to heal it back instantaneously anyways. Oh no, I took 40 damage. Oh no. Phase three, here we go. Quit your talking praxis, let's get to the fight. Woo. Oh my god, he grabbed me. Oh no. Will I ever do? And we're in the dodge phase. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, let's finish off Rexus right now. There we go. Easy dub. Alright, let's spam through all of this. But not too far. Because I do want to uh, not go into Endless. Come on. Uh, endless. There we go. All right. So we finished with, or finished with the runtime of 35 minutes, 49 seconds. We unlocked one of the skins. Now I don't know which one that is. Hopefully that's the crystallized challenge. Not bad of a run itself, based on stats and stuff, but also wasn't too crazy. We killed 1,200 enemies, which is pretty good. And we gained 8 ash and a bunch of relic orbs. So let's quickly go through. Actually, let's go see which challenge we did for the hammer. We did the tenderizing challenge. Perfect. Okay. So now we just have the umbral rift hammer challenge, which is totally fine. Which we stunned like a thousand enemies this run. So one more run like this, and we should be done that. Now let's talk to Esper and get these relic orbs identified, which we got five, it looks like. So we got Trusty Wizard's Hat that is now unlocks Razor Claw, which seems really good. Your crits now deal double damage. Very, very nice. Frostbite. Okay, nice. Fury Charm. Sounds good. Wither Core. Eh, not good. Your poison effects last longer. Not really that good. So Trusty Wizard's Hat's not that good. Anyways, for over halfway through all the relic orbs now, which is nice. And we're going to continue to max out the Ember Tree by just upgrading everything we possibly can. Starting with this one. And then moving on to this one. And then this slot. Wow, this is going to get really expensive. Holy. Yeah, that is expensive. Wow. Well, we're back to uh, being broke <laughs> with 14 ember. So, we didn't do a whole lot this episode. 
We did one trial, and that's pretty much all we did. But nevertheless, we're still getting closer to that 100% on the save file. So once again, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, um, anything you want to say to me, put it in the comments. I read every single comment, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Without any further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one.